roadside attraction here. You can see one of the old railroad trestles. So this was mostly a tourist railroad from what I've been able to gather. And it takes you from took you from Alamogordo up to Cloudcroft. And I'm sure that none of the filming that I'm doing is doing this justice, but this drive is absolutely incredible. It's some of the most amazing scenery that I've ever seen. Just really, really beautiful mountains. That's the most beautiful scenery I've seen. He's ignoring me. But anyway, there's the train trestle, one of them. So we made it to Cloudcraft Brewing, brewery. Artisan pizza, craft beer. Um, I think they had probably a dozen beers that they offered that they actually brew right next door. Um, pizza was wood fired, really great. And uh, we watched the video, I mean, uh, yeah, we did watch a video, but we ended up here twofold. We watched a video of somebody that stayed at the same KOE as we are. And they said, you have to come here. And then we found Highway 82, which looked really cool and it had a tunnel. And it just happened it actually comes here. So like, we're gonna try it. And uh, I'll try to find the, the name of his channel to link it or something, but he talked about the music and for me, I kind of laughed about it until I sat down and had a couple of beer and some pizza. But the music is all from my childhood. So yeah, it was, it was kind of hard to get up and leave. It would be very easy to just sit there and drink beer all night and listen to the music. So uh, anyway, if you make it to wherever the heck we are. Cloudcroft. No, where we're staying down. Uh, White Sands White, KOA. Yeah, so if you make it into the White Sands area and you're staying for a few days, make your way up the mountain here to Cloudcroft Brewing. Um, you won't be sorry. And gonna, the drive is absolutely stunning. Yeah. We're going to head back down the mountain. There's a little main street down here we may ride down through, see what that's about. But uh, we'll, we'll bring you guys along, show you a few, hi show you a few highlights on the way. Um, it is straight up. Um, I will say that we gained probably about 3,000 feet elevation in 10 miles. So, I mean, it's no problem, but it is, it's just all uphill. So it's going to be easy going home. We're just going to roll down the hill. And there's a couple kind of neat looking campgrounds up this way too. I didn't actually get to do much research on it before we picked the KOA and I don't think I would have picked one because we want to be kind of down in Alamogordo proper. But they look pretty neat and they are fairly big rig friendly from the uh, things that I could find online. So yeah, it's a bit of a... If you're looking for like a national park or a state park campground, they do have a couple up here. onto the main street of Cloudcroft. It's a really cute little touristy town. I'm not sure how well the video is going to come out because we are headed kind of right into the sun. But we'll turn. But a bunch of little tourist shops. There's fossils. There's a bakery.
you want to have some good beer and pizza and do a little small town sightseeing. Yeah, it looks like there's everything from burgers to pizza, uh, virtually anything you want up through here. Little restaurants. So, yeah, if you're uh, finding yourself in White Sands, this would be a good place to visit for sure. An adventure and we got pretty far down this gravel road and we decided that since we can't tell at all where it's going to come out that we wanted to turn around we had to back up a little ways to get there There's a bunch of campsites up here, and actually there's, not on this particular stretch of road, but as we come up towards the uh, little bit of paved road that's up here, there's a bunch of fifth wheels and stuff, and pretty good sized campers that are up here. They are braver than me, <laughs> we'll say, but uh, it looks like a really cool place to come up and spend a weekend or a week. Lots of people with their dirt bikes and their quads up here too, so I'm sure they're checking out all these back roads. And, uh, yep, just out for a pretty cool drive here in Alamogordo, New Mexico, and actually more up towards Cloudcroft at this point. So, neat scenery, beautiful place. And there were more further up here just as big or even a little bigger than that one. And this is a very skinny road. And it's not a one-way road, this is a two-way road. Yeah. Ryan says whoever's got the bigger camper doesn't have to back up. I don't know. It's kind of how it works. Whoever can back up the easiest backs up. It looks like a super cool place to camp, but I'm pretty sure I would die of seven heart attacks on the way up, so it probably wouldn't work out for us. adventure back down the mountain. We found these at a Haynes Canyon Vista.
And if you look down there, right there, you can see downtown Alamogordo. So that's where we're headed back to. You can also see right there is the road that we're headed down to. So, pretty amazing drop of elevation. We go from somewhere above 8,000 feet to somewhere right around 4,000 feet. So in about 10 miles. this little dirt road that we turned off of uh, and it brought us down to a paved road which then brought us down to this other road and we were driving by it and I was like there's some sort of a weird structure there so we came back and we found this it's like a cool old dam from who knows when but it uh is in this gully that's by this road that we came through so pretty neat definitely a cool gully canyon thing so sometimes you find cool stuff when you go adventuring <laughs>